Worms! These fascinating creatures that wiggle beneath our feet are some of the most important animals on our planet. Welcome, young explorers, to another adventure with fun animals for kids, where today we're digging deep into the wonderful world of worms. Did you know that there are over 7,000 species of earthworms alone? And that's just one type of worm. Our planet is home to thousands more worm species that live in water, soil, and even inside other animals. Let's explore these amazing creatures together in a fun learning adventure for kids. Worms come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, young explorers. Some worms are tiny, shorter than an eyelash, while others can grow longer than a school bus. Most worms have long, tube-shaped bodies without legs or arms. Earthworms, the most familiar worms for kids, have bodies divided into segments that look like rings. They have a special band called a clitellum that helps them reproduce. Their skin is moist, and they breathe right through it. Marine worms that live in the ocean can be incredibly colorful, bright reds, purples, and even rainbow colors. Some, like the Christmas tree worm, have beautiful fan-like tentacles that look like tiny underwater flowers. Worms are world travelers, they live almost everywhere on Earth, let's visit their homes. In your garden earthworms create tunnels in the soil. These tunnels help water and air reach plant roots. What amazing engineers these worms are! In the ocean, tube worms build special homes attached to rocks. Some marine worms even live near underwater volcanoes in water hot enough to cook food. Freshwater worms wiggle through lakes, ponds, and streams, helping to keep water clean for other animals. Some worms, called parasites, live inside other animals. While this might sound yucky to us, it's just another way that worms have adapted to survive in our world. What's for dinner if you're a worm? It depends on the type. Earthworms are nature's recyclers. They eat dead leaves and plant materials in the soil. As this matter passes through their bodies, they turn it into rich soil that helps plants grow. Talk about turning trash into treasure! Some marine worms are hunters. They use special jaws or tentacles to catch tiny animals swimming in the water. Leeches, which are a type of worm, feed on blood from animals. They were even used by doctors in the past to help treat patients. Tapeworms live inside animals and absorb food through their skin. They don't need mouths or stomachs. Worms have some of the most interesting family lives in the animal kingdom. Most earthworms are both male and female at the same time. Scientists call this hermaphroditic. When two worms meet to make babies, they both give and receive sperm. Then, each worm forms a special cocoon where baby worms develop. Marine worms often release their eggs and sperm into the water, where they meet and develop into larvae that swim around before growing into adult worms. Some worms can even reproduce by splitting their bodies in half. Each half then grows the missing parts to become a complete worm again. Now that's a cool survival skill for kids to learn about. Young explorers, worms might be small, but they are mighty important for our planet. Earthworms are often called ecosystem engineers because they change the soil as they tunnel through it. Their tunnels allow water and air to reach plant roots. Their droppings, called castings, are like super fertilizer for plants. In the ocean, marine worms help break down dead animals and plants, recycling nutrients back into the ecosystem. Parasitic worms, while sometimes harmful, can actually help control animal populations in the wild, keeping ecosystems in balance. Charles Darwin, a famous scientist, spent 39 years studying earthworms. He discovered that these tiny animals move more soil than all the world's farmers combined. Darwin called worms nature's plows. How do soft, squishy worms survive in a world full of hungry predators? They have amazing tricks. Many worms can regrow body parts if they get damaged. Some can even regrow their heads. When in danger, some worms can shoot out sticky slime to trap predators or bitter chemicals that taste terrible. Earthworms can sense light with special cells in their skin. They quickly wiggle back underground when exposed to light helping them avoid birds and other predators. Some marine worms build tubes of sand or mud to hide in. Others have powerful jaws that snap shut faster than you can blink. While worms don't have brains like we do, they're smarter than you might think. Earthworms can learn to navigate simple mazes to find food. They also communicate with each other using chemical signals. Some marine worms use special light displays to attract mates or warn predators to stay away. It's like having built-in flashlights. 
Did you know that Australia is home to giant earthworms that can grow up to 3 meters long? That's taller than most adults. Worms don't have eyes, but they can sense light and vibrations through their skin. An earthworm's digestive system is one long tube that runs the length of its body. Some marine worms use copper instead of iron in their blood, which makes their blood green instead of red. The longest tapeworm ever found in a human was over 25 meters long, longer than a tennis court. Worm farming called vermiculture is becoming popular for composting food scraps into rich soil for gardens. Throughout history, worms have played important roles in human lives. In medicine, leeches were used for bloodletting, an old medical practice. Today, doctors still use leeches after some surgeries because their saliva contains natural blood thinners and painkillers. Farmers value earthworms as natural tillers and fertilizers for their fields. One acre of good farmland might contain over a million earthworms. Scientists study worms to learn about regeneration, hoping to discover how humans might someday regrow damaged organs or limbs. Some cultures even eat worms as food. Mealworms and other edible worms are high in protein and are becoming popular as sustainable food sources. In stories and myths around the world, worms often represent transformation and renewal. This makes sense because they help turn dead things into new soil that supports life. In many fishing communities, finding and collecting worms for bait is an important tradition passed down through generations. The early bird gets the worm is a famous saying that teaches kids about the value of being prompt and prepared. Scientists have recently discovered that earthworm populations are excellent indicators of soil health. Where there are many worms, the soil is usually healthy and full of nutrients. Researchers are now studying how certain parasitic worms might help treat autoimmune diseases by regulating our immune systems. What was once seen as harmful might actually help us stay healthy. Marine biologists recently discovered a deep sea worm that eats whale bones using special acid-producing bacteria. These bone-eating worms help clean up the ocean floor when large animals die. Sadly, some worm populations are declining due to pollution, habitat loss, and climate change. Since worms are so important for healthy ecosystems, scientists and conservationists are working hard to protect them. You can help too, young explorers. By using fewer chemicals in your garden, composting food scraps and learning more about these amazing creatures, you're helping protect worms for future generations. Young explorers, today we've wiggled our way through the wonderful world of worms. From the garden soil to the deepest oceans, these incredible creatures may not be cute and cuddly, but they're some of the most important animals on our planet. Without worms, our soil wouldn't be as rich, our waters wouldn't be as clean, and many ecosystems would collapse. These humble heroes deserve our respect and protection. The next time you see a worm after a rainstorm, remember that you're looking at an animal that has been helping our planet for over 600 million years. That's a lot of history in one small package. We hope you've enjoyed this wild, wiggly adventure with fun animals for kids. Learning about animals for kids is not just fun. It helps us understand how amazing our world truly is and why we should take care of all creatures, big and small. If you loved this educational journey, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fun Animals for Kids, where we explore the fascinating lives of animals from around the world. Tell your friends about our videos for kids and join us next time for another exciting animal adventure. Remember, young explorers, every animal, even the smallest worm, has an important story to tell and a special role to play in our world. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep protecting the incredible animals we share our planet with.